Welcome back everyone. We have one last video on our spring break voyage detailing four different places. Mount Shasta, Shasta Dam, Lassen Volcanic National Park, and Sundial Ridge. Mount Shasta of the Cascade Ranch is in the Shasta Trinity National Forest of Northern California. The peak lies 77 miles north of the city of Redding. It is an impressive double peaked dormant volcano, meaning that it's not active anymore. Its last recorded eruption occurred in 1786, and the area remains tectonically active because earthquakes are relatively common. Mount Shasta has steam vents and several glaciers that feed the McLeod, Sacramento, and Shasta rivers, and its slopes are popular for skiers and climbers. The area was explored by Pete Skeen Ogden, who named the mountain in 1827 for the local Shastan Indians. E.D. Pierce made the first climb in 1854. Mount Shasta is a majestic, steep-sided stratovolcano. volcano. A stratovolcano volcano is a conical volcano, also referred to as a composite volcano. These stratovolcanoes have a steep profile at their upper ends because when they erupt, the lava cools and hardens quickly, resulting in many layers building up over time, creating the tall, steep shape. Mount Vesuvius and Mount St. Helens are examples of more recent stratovolcano eruptions with devastating effects. This is how the drive to Mount Shasta looks like. descending back down the mountain. visited the Shasta Dam. Shasta Dam, which was called Kennet Dam before its construction, is a concrete arc gravity dam across the Sacramento River in Northern California. At 602 feet high, it is the eighth tallest dam in the United States. Located at the north end of the Sacramento Valley, Shasta Dam creates Shasta Lake for long-term water storage, flood control, hydroelectricity, and protection against the intrusion of saline water. Here you can see the pipes that transfer water to the turbines, which would be used to generate hydroelectricity. And this is an overlook of Shasta Dam and Shasta Lake. Volcanic National Park signature volcano, Lassen Peak, blew its top in May of 1914, and its outbursts continued for three more years. The volcano lies on the northern edge of an ancient caldera created when the top of Mount Tahama exploded and collapsed about 350,000 years ago. Now, its dormant and trails and overlooks give you access to see and learn about volcanic activity 
amongst a calm landscape of dense woods and sparkling lakes. Lassen is actually known for its remarkable hydrothermal features, as the park offers visitors a glimpse of plopping mud pops, bubbling pools, and roaring steam vents. But we could not see them due to the snow road closures in the springtime. The only time you would be able to see the hydrothermal features would be in the summer. Here are the icicles hanging off of the visitor center's roof. And there's a big one. Also, we spent some time snow tubing down the hills, which was really fun. The Sendal Bridge at Turtle Bay is a world-famous pedestrian bridge and public art installation that crosses the Sacramento River in Redding, and it connects the north and south campuses of Turtle Bay Exploration Park. World-renowned Spanish architect and engineer Santiago Calatrava designed the Sundial Bridge. It was his first freestanding bridge in the United States. As the name suggests, the Sundial Bridge is in fact a working sundial and is one of the largest in the world. The sundial shadow traces such a large arc that it can record four hours a day, from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's not accurate in winter because the shadow is too far into the garden to be seen. The shadow, when visible, moves about one foot per minute, so you can actually see the shadow move. The bridge celebrates human creativity and innovation. The steel, glass, and granite span brings a sense of weightlessness. The translucent, non-skid floor provides for spectacular viewing at night. The bridge is also environmentally sensitive to its river setting. The tall pylon and cable wires allow the bridge to avoid the nearby salmon spawning habitat as there are no supports in the water, also encouraging public appreciation for the river. This concludes the videos presenting our spring break trip. Make sure to go watch the other videos if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.